Hello and welcome to Dawn Chorus Writes, a miraculous ladybug fan fiction and audio fiction. This is a special one shot, a lyrical one shot, written by Chica, narrated by Dawn myself. Hello! And it is for Marishat Monday. So I hope you enjoy. Massive shout out to Flintree for the use of her beautiful, stunning, tender picture as the use of the for the thumbnail so make sure you send her some love all her information is listed down below make sure you send Chica some love for writing it make sure you send me some love by smashing that like button comment down below what you think of this lovely sweet one shot and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on future series and other one shots to come and I hope you enjoy Can I be him? Cat Noir stood on Marinette's balcony, cradling a cup of hot chocolate while she sketched. They had spent many nights like this ever since he had accidentally figured out her identity. The fact that Ladybug had been letting him into her life and he had never known it was a strange revelation, but now they had to be extra careful and she absolutely forbid him to reveal himself to her. She now had to be his safeguard his best friend and first line of defence, like he had always had been for her. But the hurt of that requirement was lessened by the fact that the girl he had loved for so long was still as dear to him as ever, both as love and friend. You're quiet tonight, Kitty, Marinette murmured softly. Anything bothering you? You don't want to hear about it. He replied, trying and failing to hide the resonation in his voice. She got up and put an arm around his shoulder where he stood at the railing. If it's about your civilian life, can you talk about it in generalities? I can at least listen even if I can't help. He shook his head, staring out at the lights of the city they protected. It's not about that. Well, it is. But it's not the way you think. Okay, then tell me what you can, she said, turning her back to the city and leaning against the railing so she could see his face. Let me be here for you, please, he sighed. <sighs> I've loved you for three years, Marinette. Three years of loving you in the mask, and now that I know the girl behind the mask, is even more amazing. I love you all the more. You need to not know my identity so we can defeat Hawkmoth. I get it. I really do. It still hurts, but what hurts me the most is seeing you pining for someone else who doesn't see you. She rubbed her forehead, a habit whenever she was stressed or tired. I know, Kat. But you can't help but be open and honest about your love. You've always been that way. It's not so easy for me. She put her hand on his shoulder and squeezed it comfortably. Most of the time, you see me at my best. The miraculous ladybug who always has a plan and fixes everything. That is just one small part of me. The rest of me is a mess. Especially around him. I want to be loved as Marinette, cause that is who I am at the end of the day. Can you honestly say you ever considered the real me at all before you found out? I get that Marinette, more than you know, but while I loved Ladybug more, I also loved you. Long before I found out you were Ladybug, even though I didn't realise it at the time. She stared at him wide-eyed for a moment and blushed, then turned away muttering, Drat, that silver tongue. It's not silver, just truth, he said, turning her back to face him with a finger on her chin. The first time you walked into the room, I thought you were beautiful. And while I have to say that Ladybug took my breath away, now I realise my heart had been stolen. By you, Marinette. I fell for Ladybug, but you crept into all the secret places of my heart and made yourself at home there. 
you were just as much a part of me as Ladybug was. But you were the quiet, gentle comfort to her big, bold adventure. You were always there for me when I needed you. You always saw me as me, no more, no less. You took me back in time to when I was unbroken. I can't know anymore, Cat. I wish I could, just for your sake, but we've had too many close calls already. He took her hand in his, staring down at them, memorizing every line, every callus, every scar. Now that I know, you're all I want, Marinette. You are so much more than Ladybug. How you have managed to carry everything you do for everyone. To follow your dreams and still be a hero just puts me to shame. And whenever I knew it or not, you've been in my heart from the very first moment I knew you. The real you, not just the mask. She chuckled, trying to hide her rosy cheeks behind her loose hair. <laughs> this is the guy who turned down my decoration of love. He crossed his arms and leaned into her space. Oh, come on. That is hardly a valid counter-argument. You were afraid I would discover your identity if I put it together. You didn't really love me. He expected her to push him back by the nose, as she often did, but instead she swallowed and looked guilty. I felt so horrible about it, you know? Rejecting you like that hurt me too. Why, though? She whispered. You were so in love with Ladybug. Why did it even bother you? Because a light came on inside me when you said you loved me, and I felt... I don't know, how does your friend Luca say it? I heard your heart song and mine answered back, Marinette. Ever since then, I just want to hear you sing it again. I swear that every word you sang, you wrote them just for me. Like it was a private show, even though I know you never saw the real me that way. I guess I just can't help but wonder if... When the lights come on and I'm on my own, will you still be there to sing it again? She squeezed his hand in hers and he looked up to see the tears in her eyes. I just... I don't know anymore, Cat. Just like you can't let me go, I don't think I could let him go. And I'm sorry, I really am, because it hurts me too. You are both so sweet and kind and amazing, but he was there first. Have you ever considered that I could be the one you talk about in all your stories? He asked, brushing the tears away from her cheeks gently with his thumb. If things don't work, can I be him? Cat. Her voice was soft and trembled. I... I know. I heard. It just hurts to know there was someone else. But I know he doesn't deserve you. Not if it makes you doubt yourself like you do. Not when you're so afraid of rejection that you can never tell him how you feel. You deserve to be loved so much, Marinette. Even if you don't choose me, can I still want that for you? How? How can you care about me so much, my happiness, when all I have ever done is hurt you? She whimpered. He pulled her into a hug, wrapping her tight and resting his chin on the top of her head letting her feel his warmth and love surrounding and supporting her. Because Ladybug was the one that hurt me, not Marinette. Ladybug was trying to stay focused to save everyone. She was trying to carry too much at the cost of her own health and heart and mind and she lashed out at Cat Noir. But all that while Marinette let me in. You gave me cookies after Akuma fights and played video games. 
You told me your troubles and asked for my help to confess to your buttercup, whoever he is. You listened when things got too much for me and let me be weak with you, to cry on your shoulder. You were always there when I needed you and you saw me for myself, not the mask. Tenderly, he brushed a strand of hair behind one ear, his fingers briefly touching her earrings along the way. If you were mine, Marinette, I'd never let anyone hurt you. I want to dry those tears. His hand drifted down her face, brushing his thumb along the bottom lip. Kiss those lips. Oh, it's all I've been thinking about for so long now that it's part of me. I can't give you up, Marinette. You deserve better than me, Kitty. She sighed sadly, leaning against his chest. You really do, because I do love you, Cat. I don't know when or how it happened, but I still love him too. You deserve better than half a heart, especially a broken one. They held each other there for a long while as the sky turned overhead. He tipped her head up, slowly looking down into her sapphire eyes. The tracing of tears he saw there broke his heart. When I'm on my own, will you be there to sing it again for me, Marinette? Could I be the one you talk about in your stories? You come up with to explain your feelings? Can I be the one who loves you up close instead of far away. Can I be him? She wrapped her arms around him as tight as she could. Tomorrow, she murmured. I'll tell him tomorrow. And if he... She couldn't finish and buried her face in his chest once more. It was a chance. If Buttercup was anyone with sense, he would be thrilled that Marinette loved him. So maybe it wasn't much of a chance at all. It was the thinnest silver of hope, and it cut him like glass when he grasped it. One way or the other, I'll always love you, Marinette. Cat whispered into her hair, little knowing that when next they spoke, it would be as Adrian, and her heart song would be loud and bright as the sun. Because he was him. Thank you for listening to this sweet lyrical, oh bless his wee heart. Um, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you go and send Chica some love for writing it. Make sure you go and send Flintry some love for her beautiful artwork. Send me some love by smashing that like button. Comment down below what you think of it. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on other lyrical one shots, other one shots and other series to come and are happening at the moment. And I hope you're good and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!